this is kind of a, a cool reaction uh, that we're going to do today between uh, acetone. Uh, this is just a standard can of acetone that you can buy in your hardware store, about six bucks for this big can. Um, and we're going to take some pieces of copper, which we have in the, in the bowl here. Um, we have a, a small coil and a large coil, and we're going to use this large coil uh, for this demonstration. But basically, when you when you get copper hot and you get it glowing, and you put it down inside some fumes and some acetone, it'll glow like a like a filament of a light bulb. It'll actually put off some light, and it'll continue to glow uh, until there's no more vapor in in the area that it's that it's in. So this is just a glass jar, and we're going to take this uh, can of acetone, pop it. Pour just a little bit in the jar, not much. Maybe a little more than that. So we've got the bottom of the jar covered with acetone. We're going to clean up our area because we don't want to catch anything on fire. And you should do this outside someplace in a well-ventilated area, not in your house, because uh, I don't want to be responsible for you burning your house down. So uh, do it outside, please. Then we're going to take a coil, just a standard coil of copper. Um, this is just uh, regular Romex. It's been wrapped around in a coil. And we're going to take a torch. Now, my torch is almost out of gas, but uh, it, it should be enough to, to make this experiment work. Inside that jar is just a mashed up toilet paper roll. And uh, we're just using that for wicking. You don't, you don't always need that, uh, but it does help. Um, just makes the vapors in the jar a little bit stronger. So yeah, we're almost out of gas, but we're going to try to make this work. This might take a little bit of time. Basically, you want to take the coils and you want to get them cherry red. At least started cherry red. I might not have enough butane to do this. Oh yeah, we're starting to get hot. The metal's starting to change. In fact, my fingers are starting to burn, so we're gonna we're gonna switch over here to uh, another way to hold it. And once we start to get some some glowing amber, and we're starting to, there's some some glowing metal on this side. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and hot. We'll stick it down in the vapors of that jar. And it's going to start a catalytic reaction, very similar to what uh, what your car does uh, with the catalytic uh, converters. Uh, basically, the um, all those fumes react with what's in the uh, a catalytic converter, and it burns off the excess, and that's what uh, keeps your car running clean. So I'm starting to see some glowing at the very, very bottom here. I'll go just a little bit more here. Okay, let's try that. We're very carefully going to try not to catch ourselves on fire. And I believe the action has started. So we'll give that a few seconds here. We'll turn out the desk light so you can see this. Move the camera angle. And look at that. So that is putting off quite a bit of light. You can't really tell by the camera, but uh, you, you could definitely read by that. So it makes a nice little neat, extremely dangerous night light that uh, more than likely would burn your house down. So I've turned off the overhead light just so you could get a better view of this. And uh, again, my camera's trying to adjust for the, for the light that's seen in the center. But uh, it is not on fire. It's just glowing cherry red. And um, it's nothing more than a catalytic reaction between the vapor of the acetone and the copper. And it'll continue to do this until all of the fumes in the jar are burnt up. So a pretty cool thing you can try at home. Just remember, be safe and do this outside.